So, I thought I'd just do a little walkthrough of the library quickly. So up top, we've got some of our uh, pieces that composers have sent us, and uh, some stuff that we have done for the Listen Local. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. Um, some of the Listen Local, some new works, and some music we've done for children's concerts like Pinocchio and stuff like that. Then we've got our student chamber music uh, section up here. So large ensemble pieces, quartets, duos, trios for mixed instruments. Panning down, we've got all of our Suzuki material for violin, viola, cello, and the piano accompaniments. Then the next two shelves, uh, let's see if I can get a better angle here, are uh, we've been accumulating a lot of method books of different publishers, different teachers, so I sort of cataloged those together. Then on the other side, we start with our violin repertoire, uh, beginner up to advanced, and um, violin method books, second shelf etudes, violin duets, and some of the larger compilations that don't fit in these little shelves. Now, sadly, here's our viola shelf. You know, I've got some stuff, but look at that nice that empty space. Dun, dun, dun. So that's one of the issues. I think we really need to beef up our viola section. And cello is on the bottom two shelves. We've had quite a bit of cello music donated. Uh, let's go over now, over to here. Up top, we've got our oversized chamber music stuff and our orchestral stuff and trio sonatas. Then we've got quartets. Um, a little bit more quartets on the second shelf, and then non-quartet chamber music are uh, chamber scores, pocket scores, and orchestral and uh, scores on the bottom. Now, this is the new part, uh, Chloe's New Grove that she donated, opera and vocal stuff, and then I've organized this stuff by genre. So the top shelf is all uh, biography and about composers. Then we've got history on the second shelf. And then a little bit of uh, sort of Charles Rosen type classical style uh, sonata form stuff about particular periods of music. Then we've got biographies of performers and composers and then sort of uh, ph philosophical side of music, and then some stuff particular to string quartets. Then uh, we've got music appreciation. Let me kneel down here. Music appreciation here. Uh, some of uh, George Bernard Shaw's criticism. And then the bottom two shelves are theory. Straight up hardcore theory. And in the corner, some stuff I need to shelf. Some extra Mozart and my shelving supplies. Over here, we've got all of our uh, periodicals, strings, magazine, chamber music magazine. Then we've got a little children's stuff, um, some pedagogy stuff, some uh, sort of pedagogy, non-musical pedagogy, a little bit of musical pedagogy, but stuff, you know, like Maxine Green and Frary and Ted Sizer and stuff like that, stuff about instruments our huge literature section. And that's sort of, the bottom's going to be sort of the miscellaneous books I have no idea where to shelf. And uh, up top we've got videos and some DVDs about music and composers. And then uh, CDs alphabetized by composer all the way down this shelf. And then this is compilations, classical compilations, children's stuff, Suzuki, um, workshop presenter stuff, and then videos, VHS and DVD of music, and then just regular movies. For example, let's see if I can find it here. 
we're very proud of our, uh, where is it? We're snow dogs. Hmm, we're snow dogs. Well, anyways, I'm not going to waste any more time. <laughs> we're looking for snow dogs. Then we've got our LPs over here. So, now, I'm going to turn it around. So, some of the issues I think we have, I don't know how close this is, so, sorry. Some of the issues I think we have are space, um, oh, one second, we've got someone coming in. Sorry, I was just doing a little... the sun. Yeah, so sorry, uh, someone coming in looking to purchase a cello. Um... So I think some of the issues are definitely space, but there's not much we can do about that. I mean, Chloe had the idea of moving the CDs and videos upstairs. That would mean also moving the stereo upstairs, which is okay. That would that might be able to open up some space, um, but then we wouldn't have a stereo downstairs, but it probably would be more useful upstairs. Um, and yeah, and until we get a new building, I don't really see where we can put all this stuff. And another thing is... Uh, you know, budget. I think often uh, we don't have enough budget to uh, fulfill the, the need of materials throughout the year. In fact, I've had to sort of tuck into other budgets, like the whole Goliath stuff. I don't exactly know where that money came from, but if that came out of the library budget, where perhaps it should have, that would have wiped out pretty much 60% of my budget uh, right off the bat. So, um, but, you know, I think Things are going pretty well with the library. You know, I dip into it from time to time, and um, myself, and I, I was surprised at what we have. So uh, that's just a brief update, and I'd love to get any suggestions about what we can do to make it better. Okay, thanks.